Hello guys, uh, in this video I would like to explain uh, one sample Kalmogov Smirnov test uh, for testing whether the data belong to a specific distribution or not. Now I have done two videos, uh, one video in fact, uh, and one sample Kalmogov Smirnov test uh, with Python. So if you are interested in uh, Kalmogorf Smirnov test for one sample data and Python. The link to that video is given in the description of this video. Uh, here I talked about what is one sample Kalmogorf Smirnov test, what is the theory behind this test, why and for what purpose it was developed, and who developed this test. So you can see detail about what is one sample Kalmogorf Smirnov test. I mean, Theoretical detail you can see in that video. Uh, the link in, to that video is given in the description of this video. Uh, and today video, uh, I would like to demonstrate this uh, test, Kalmogorov Smirnov test, in our studio. So if you're interested in Python, it's available in Python in on this channel, and particularly the playlist titled Data Analysis with Python, and for your information, I have just started from the scratch uh, Python. So if you want to learn Python, I think this can be the best, one of the best uh, source for you to learn. Okay, and now uh, let's come to Kalmogor Smirnov test in our studio. The basic purpose of Kalmogor Smirnov test is to test whether a specific data or particular data which you have belong to a specific distribution or not because sometimes you need to draw some inferences about the data and then you need to know about the distribution so you can draw like you can see you can draw histogram you can see whether it is a particular distribution you can draw a density function um here like curve but the other is Kalmogorov Smirnov test because this can give you approximate results in the histogram, the probability density function. But when you test with the Kalmogorov Smirnov test, this will give you the p value and the test statistic, and you can decide whether the data belongs to a particular distribution or not based on your p value and, of course, at a certain significance level. So, for theory, I will uh, I refer you guys to the one sample Kalmogorov Smirnov test in Python, and the link is given in the description of this video. So you can just click and you will go there and you will see uh, the basics and the details of this test. And remember that this is a non parametric test. And you can use these, this test in economics, econometrics, climate change, hydrology, finance, psychology, and multiple areas. Okay, let's move to our, our and our studio uh, that how we can use this test for testing the data. I will normally use the data which I generate from some distribution and I will try to test with the different distribution whether it's how the test work, but you can use your own data. Yes, of course, you can use data from CSV, from other file source or from online sources as well. So you can do your uh, uh, you will test with your own data, it's no problem. You can just follow the procedure which I'm explaining here. So, generate the sample data, and the sample I just mentioned this with the sample underscore data one because I have multiple sample data. I'm generating multiple sam sample data, you will see uh, given uh, below. So, I'm just generating this sample data, and you can see uh, you can just compare in Python and R. You, you can see the R is a bit simple than Python, but in fact, both have their strong and weak points. I have done this one video on this uh, previously, I mean, uh, yesterday. So you can see that video as well. So you can so you can learn both side by side R and Python, which are the top, among the top languages for data science. So you can learn side by side. So it's, this is the one of the best platform, I think, for you guys to learn both. Okay, so generate this or norm. This is the function which generate random number from normal distribution, 100 numbers, 
So the mean value zero and the standard deviation one just run is and this will generate this data. And you can write sample data one and you will see this is the data and you can write command head and just clean this this portion by control L. Now you can write H E A just write again the previous command and now you can write head and then okay and just write H E A D. So you see a few values one, two, three, four, five, six values and if you want to see, you can see the, the tail of this data. Sample, the score data. It's already there, so data one, of course, remember. So these are the bottom six values. So you can see like this head and then bracket, the name of the data. And then if you want to see the tail, the down, the, the last values, you can see by using tail command. Okay, now come to the point. Now you have data, so we are testing about normal population, whether this data belongs to normal population or not. So you can see case test norm, just, just put this name. You can put your name, no problem. That will store the result in that name. And then you can use that name here to see the detail of the results. And this is ks.test. This is Kalmogor Smirnov test sample the school data one so this is the first the the sample we generated here this is the distribution name I remember that in python it is different and here it is different this is p norm here mean is zero and standard deviation is one of course we have generated data from these uh, using these parameters just click on this and you will see so now we have the results stored in this in this name so just print this name or you can just write you will see the result just little make it okay like this so you can see that the d value that is statistic value is this one and the p value is 0 0.1 which is higher than 0 0.05 uh, so at five percent level of significance we can claim that the data we have belong to the normal population that's coming from the normal population that has taken from the normal population Okay, so this is all about normal population. Now I'm using the same data set, but I'm just curious to test for other distribution, whether the test, so this can give you the validity of the test as well. Of course, that is a valid test developed and tested. But if you, you are curious like me, you can use other distribution to test the same data. Remember the data is generated from normal distribution. And this is p-wise, the same procedure I'm doing, the distribution is changed p poise poise on probability distribution okay and lambda is the parameter of the, the the poise on distribution i'm just taking three you can choose of course other value as well no problem because about this parameter we don't know we are just this is the requirement so just run this and now i have different name pois with the test like norm so poise and now print it Yes, so the test statistic is high enough and the p-value is very low, 2.2 e to e raised to the power minus 16. So this is very low, this means that we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the data does not belong to the Poisson probability distribution. Similarly, you can do for other well. This is just my curiosity was, so I just use for these. This is binomial, the same data set, data one, I'm using for binomial distribution, the same procedure, but you need to mention the size and the probability, this, the parameter, you need to mention these things for binomial, this is different. I run this, you will see the result is stored in the p bind and again, because the data is generated from normal distribution, so of course, this will not give the result that it is belong to the binomial distribution. Similarly, you can see here, I'm just using for exponential distribution i don't need to mention the parameter you can use you can try for these as well if it does not uh, require this parameter you don't need to mention because in fact we don't have knowledge about this parameter so just run this command for exponential and yes for this also very low p value so this means that no we don't 
have enough information to accept the null hypothesis and conclude that the data does not belong to the exponential distribution. This is rather belong, in fact, belong to the normal distribution. Now, this is another case. I am generating data from exponential probability distribution, and then I will test for different distribution. Like I will use normal as well. So just uh, generate this data sample data or two. Now this is two. And or expo, this is the function we will generate, which will generate uh, 100 values from exponential distribution with the rate parameter that is equal to one. You can use different parameters up to you. So this is now sample two. And I'm using uh, k s underscore test x exp in this bar exponential and case dot test the same thing and sample data too and the probability distribution is p xp the same use which we have done in the above uh, case and rate is equal to one just run this and you will see here the pi value is very high the statistic is very low and the p value is very high and remember yesterday i have talked about the p value the t statistic why the p statistic is low and the p value is high and when the test statistic is high the p value is low it is explained in the previous video uh, which i have done in the python so you can go to the description of the video click on the link and please listen to that video if you want to know why so you can see that the p value is very high so we accept the null hypothesis and conclude that the data is actually come from the exponential distribution that is obviously we have done this so let's see for other distribution to see some interesting result about normal distribution. Again, the same procedure I'm using with the sample data too. P norm, that's the normal distribution, mean zero and standard deviation one. Let's remove these values. So what happens? Because I don't know what are these values that data is from exponential distribution. So there is no problem, you don't need to use that. If you know, then you need to mention it. But if you don't know, then you don't need because I don't know about because the data is generated from the exponential distribution. Oh, this yes, the p value is again very small, and this is indeed true because the data is from exponential distribution. So again, we say that the data does not belong to the normal distribution. Now this just see if the lambda without lambda at working, then why not without lambda? No, that's important here in this case. Yes. So you can use other lambda as well. So this is now the k points here. Just look at the result. Yes, the red data is not from uh, Poisson distribution. That's true. And now the binomial distribution, the same procedure with the different data too, only remember. So now see the result. Yes, again the same. The very small p value, and this is this confirm that the data is not from binomial distribution as well. And for of course, this data is from exponential distribution, which we generated here. Yes, so only this if we accept the null hypothesis in this case, and for normal distribution in this case, and we say that this data is from normal distribution and not from other distributions. And in this case, we say the data is from exponential distribution and not from any other distribution. And now this, we, I was just curious about the other distribution, gamma distribution. So I was uh, curious about uh, what will be the behavior of this test with different distribution. So I'm, I generated this data sample three, data three from gamma distribution with two parameters. You need to mention these when you are simulating values from a distribution, probability distribution, the number of values is 100. You can reduce or increase whatever. So this is now sample data three. Now, again, the same. Uh, okay, this is for gamma distribution, not again for normal. So with the gamma distribution, the same procedure I'm doing, the statistic I'm, I wrote gamma here. So this should be, okay, GMA, GMA, not like double gamma here this is the name so you can you can put any name here case test sample data 3 p gamma distribution shape to scale to these are the parameters you can change it this is just for illustration run this command and see 
yes the p value is very i mean not very high but higher than 0 0.05 and we can say that the data is from gamma distribution okay and of course we generated it from gamma distribution now we can test for normal distribution so this is you know and the sample data three and you can run this and then see so the p video is very small and we say that this data is not from the distribution of the data is not normal and now poison distribution will lambda three uh, just check it lambda is equal to two so you can change because we don't know about lambda in this case so data is from gamma distribution so this is poise and now run this and you will see yes the pvl is very small so we say that no the data is not from poison distribution and in fact the data is from gamma distribution which we accept the hypothesis for this case here and so we have uh, learned in this case that how this one sample Kalmogot Smirnoff test work in or we have done three data set when the data set was generated from normal distribution and then we tested for different distribution including normal distribution and we only decide based on the results that the data belong from normal distribution to normal distribution second data was generated from exponential distribution i guess i think that was yes from exponential distribution and then we test for different distribution and the only distribution for which the result was accepted that was exponential distribution and for other distribution we reject that the distribution is from those distribution and the last we simulated data from gamma distribution with different parameters i mean two parameters shape and scale and then we run this test for different distribution like for normal for poison and for gamma distribution and we only accept for gamma distribution and for the distribution we rejected that this, this data is not from those distribution so this is very handy and very easy test and in, in, in or in our studio so you can you can test your data whether it is belong to specific distribution or not it's very simple and if you are interested in python you can see the video link uh, which is the link is given to that video in the description so i think it's enough for today thank you very much and see you in the next video ciao